the Chilcot reports coming out in the summer, which is the big British investigation into the events leading up to the Iraq war. It, it can only be a disaster, but you shouldn't have come in. I mean, you know, you Do you did. think there should be, you know, the, the ultimate sanction for politicians like Tony Blair, who took Britain into this war with America, is that they could be arrested for war crimes? Would you think that well, would be Well, I don't think, I don't see it with war crimes. I just think he goes down as uh, somebody that did a terrible job. And uh, Bush got us into it. That's a terrible, terrible thing that happened. And Obama has, you know, look, he could have, I was for not going in, but the way he got out was a disaster. And I've always said, at least get something. You know, to the victor belong the spoils. Keep the oil, keep the oil and they got out. There was a sense that Tony Blair put his own relationship with President Bush before the interests of the British people. Would you respect a British Prime Minister more for standing up for the British people, even if it meant occasionally, if you were president, saying, I'm sorry, Donald, I can't help you on this? Yeah, much more. He should be for the people. He shouldn't be worried about relationship. I'm surprised that somebody would look at the Bush relationship as being that important. Tony Blair made a mistake. I mean, when he came in, you know, you can't just go in haphazardly. You folks got involved in that mess just like we did, and now look at it. And I was being driven here by a, a guy in a car, and he said, you know what, I like Donald Trump. Donald doesn't speak like a politician. He just gives it to us straight. All right, it may not be always the nice way to say things, but I like the way he punches. Well, you know, we have an expression in this country, you might have it, you do have it to an extent, politically correct. We are so politically correct, like you can have a conversation with me for 10 minutes and there'll be one word that's slightly out of line that you might say or that I might say, and immediately it's a big deal. It is so, it is absolutely hurting our country. It's hurting our country because we can't tell it like it is. And I think what people are liking about me, hey, look, I went to the best schools, I feel a good student, all that stuff. I can be so politically correct like you've never seen. <laughs> I tell it like it is. I like telling it like it is. I want to make a point, and I want to get to the point. But we're going to make America great again, and I think that's what people believe, and I know that's what's going to happen. Your old uh, sparring partner, Lord Sugar, Yeah. Uh, he, d he thinks he can write a bigger check than you. Yeah, no, he's a small timer. <laughs> Don't forget, Sugar <laughs> works for me. Every time he makes money, he because pays Because you own part of the yeah, format of with, The Apprentice. with Mark Burnett. 